We believe in the innate dignity of every person. And if you believe in that, I think you need to support policies that rely on earned success. The most happy people on the planet are people that report they earned their own success. So that, what does that mean for policymakers or policy professionals? It means we've got to pass policies that give people a path to create a life of purpose and meaning for themselves. The thing that if you are genuinely concerned with the upward mobility of kids in Mississippi or anywhere else across the country, the one word I want you to walk away from this is have the courage to say what you know to be true, especially if you've done it in your own life. If the fight is that we're just keeping the status quo because we can't do this other thing out of fear of what might come of it, then we choose to continue failing our kids. And that's not okay. Every child is unique and has a different unique need. And if a non-public school works for a child, that's great. If a hybrid option works for a child, that's great. If a public school works for a child, that's great. The whole goal here is to ensure that families have power to choose. And the data shows pretty clearly when families are empowered to choose, their children are going to do better, right? And it's not just on a test score, it's in their lives. And I hope that we look up again in 10 years and see that, man, look at the strides, that are, look at the wake that's behind us and the strides that, that have been made uh, in those who have been, been incarcerated coming out and being in gainful employment so that they're sustainable, that they can live a, a good life, and they don't ever have to go back to, to prison. This isn't about just marginal tax rates. This is about making people's lives better off and getting employers to move into states like Mississippi. Change happens because of people like you. Lawmakers, donors, ambassadors, engaged citizens who are committed to seeing Mississippi thrive. It takes all of us working together. And I believe together, as our distinguished keynote speaker said just a few minutes ago, we can do hard things.